Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, I will be conducting my very first oil change on my 23 BRZ. On the dash, she is sitting at 963. So it's right around the time that I'm gonna hit my, you know, 1K break-in period, as well as changing out the oil and replacing the W2, let me start the 0W20 with 5W30. So I just got back from Elgrove Subaru and I just wanted to share with you guys my experience. It was so freaking annoying. So I told them, he's like, I was like, hey, I wanna get, you know, about five and a half uh, quarts of uh, 5W30 for my BRZ. And the dude refused to sell it to me because he's like, you know, the, um, the recommendation is 0W20 on this car. And I'm like, yeah, I know that, bro. But I'm gonna be tracking this car and I'm going to be modifying it. And so there's no point in me going in for warranty work anyways, I don't care. And I don't necessarily trust dealerships. So everything's all gonna be on me. I got my own mechanic, I don't need them. And I expressed that to them. And so this is what he, he said. Customer is aware that the car takes zero W20. He requested 5W30. We explained that this could cause potential damage in the engine. The weight was purchased is not meant for this vehicle grant and parts department he wants 5w30 anyway so f you grant um you know i've ran 5w30 on my wx for quite some time i mean it, it is recommended not an issue there's countless people who you know have the the a6 platform and also run 5w30 especially those on track 0w20 is primarily for um you know the epa bullshit and carb and fuel economy so yeah if you daily and you're not you know whopping on this car go ahead and go with the recommended um uh, factory uh recommendation however for me i know this car enough i've done my research you know there's countless uh, you know reputable uh folks within the community who have run 5w30 countlessly countless times and never had any, any issues so with that let's do my first oil change Okay, so I got the car up. I just uh, unplugged the drain and I'm letting the oil come out. So while I'm waiting for the oil to come out, I just wanna run by what I will be uh, putting into the car in terms of this oil change. So I have, this will honestly be the last time I buy from Subi Speed because my loyalty lies with Kevin Vo. I actually like Kevin, but you know, since they fired him, you know, I don't necessarily like Subi Speed no more. And you know, I'm starting to have bad experiences with them. So whatever it is, you know, uh, I'm going to take my services elsewhere. So I got the Fumoto oil drain valve. This I'll be replacing with the OE nut. And I've used this on my uh, WRX for the five years that I've owned it. Never had an issue. The only time was there was one time where this clip here was exposed to the elements and it, it became brittle and it snapped. So I just had to buy a replacement, but overall the Fumoto oil drain valve itself um, you know, I've never had any issues with it and I love the fact that it was so easy to do oil changes with it. So I'll be replacing the OE nut with this, you know, your oil filter, OEM oil filter, and of course 5.3, well here I got six quarts, but I'll be having some leftovers, but overall this car takes 5.3 quarts of oil. So yeah, I'll check in with you shortly. So I just wanted to show you guys while I'm under the car. This is how the Fumoto oil drain valve will sit underneath the BRZ slash GR86. And the good thing is that it comes with this plate which is removable and if you put it back on, it completely protects it and it still sits flush. See that? No issues. So, pretty good. Love it. All right, just got done with the oil change. Per Elgrove Subaru, I'm gonna blow up my motor, right? With you know, with putting 5W30 in it. Let's see if she blows up. No issues yet. Okay, so got the oil change done. Now, I'm gonna go for a little quick drive around the block. Make sure that she's okay. I did top off the oil, so everything is good to go. So 
So I'm going to be repeating the same uh, maintenance schedule that I did with my uh, 2018 WRX. Every, about every three to 4,000 miles, I'll be changing the oil religiously. It'll always be Subaru OEM oil um, for the most part. But I'm gonna take really good care of this car, even if I'm gonna be whomping and thrashing on it. <laughs> Right around the corner over here, there is a street that is still under construction and fortunately the street that my family lives on doesn't have any speed bumps yet. So I'm going to do a little small walk. Not much left to say in this video guys, except for the fact that, you know, oil change is an oil change. All of your due diligence, you know, maintenance and upkeep on the car to make sure that everything is smooth sailing. Okay, so here we are. Hopefully there's no one here. Cool, there isn't. up so definitely later down the line I do want to install an oil cooler preferably the one that is a hybrid that's an oil cooler and a radiator so that way I have space for modifying and stuff I think the little tiny oil cooler uh, itself is a little bit tacky so uh, yeah this is pretty much it I will see you guys in the next video if you like this video, uh, give it a thumbs up. Not much to say because it's just a maintenance video. But yeah, peace out, guys.